We are in the home stretch and I can't wait to button everything up. Plug this in. Oh my gosh. Look at how the customers are standing and all the workers are taking over their space. Are you guys hungry? You want them to go make you something to eat? <laughs> I think you just brought out beers for them. Oh! <laughs> I really like this waterfall, Chris. It's almost as if water has eroded away the earth, exposing just solid bedrock. Yeah, we were, we were talking about like what our favorite features of this addition. I'd have to say it's this large urn and the bog area up here. I love the power of three. It's a very, very strong strong design technique. Just looks spectacular. There's multiple seating places for people to gather all over what is actually a very small part of the property, but because of the water feature, the way it meanders, the interactivity of it, it makes it feel enormous. It is beginning of day three here out in beautiful Lamont, Illinois on this amazing addition that we are putting onto an already incredibly kick-ass pond. We got Juan behind me. He is moving some rock around, so he's making a lot of noise, banging around, so if you're having a hard time hearing me, it's his fault. We have a really awesome cut granite piece right here. This is going to be a coffee table element that we are going to be incorporating down to this pea gravel pit area, um, this kind of sunken patio. You can see the homeowner has already got some Adirondack deck chairs set out in there. This is going to be a really neat feature. It's nice because it's the same kind of stone that we're using throughout, so it's a very cohesive design element. That thing's enormous, and it's going to look really, really stinking awesome sitting right here. There is a fire pit area right in here that is a gas fire pit, and this is the backdrop to it. So can you imagine? You can see he's already setting the chairs out where he can picture himself and his guests sitting, enjoying, relaxing, this nice subtle sounds. Right back there is that little waterfall that Micho and and Juan put together yesterday. That'll add some extra ambiance. Brian and myself stayed a little bit later last night after everybody left just to kind of get the framework for that bog area. The big urn is in. You can see how to scale it is with the rest of the big rocks up there. We've got a bunch of buttoning up, edge work to do. We've got our bridge element in, which turned out awesome. They wanted a nice solid bridge in through here because of some elderly family members and that kind of stuff. This is all going to be decomposed granite, patio space up here. We are in the home stretch and I can't wait to button everything up. The last thing that we have to do after we get all the touch up work done is put the aquatic plants in and we brought a large variety of stuff from our retail store. Everything looks fantastic. We've got cannas, we've got sedges, we've got hardy lilies, we've got a tropical lily, we've got corkscrew rush, we've got chameleon plant, pitcher plant. So gotta love the carnies. Isn't that right John G. Adams from Modern Design Aquascape? You know. I'm always bringing the carnies with me, the carnivorous plant. We got so much good stuff happening today. Like I said, it is the final final stretch. We are going to wrap this project up today and I cannot wait to see it when the waterfall finally turns on or the expression on the customer's face is probably going to match ours because we will both be ecstatic when this project is over because of how awesome it has turned out. So here is that big monster piece of granite with the sawed off top. Chris and Micho did a great job testing it out by sitting in the Adirondacks, making sure that they could get their feet back. There's still enough room to walk in and around, but it looks awesome in here. Totally to scale with the rest of the project because you can see the size of some of these monster pieces of granite. Just looks incredible. Juan did a great job. Now we're going to move back upstream and get the stream and waterfalls up there buttoned up. Plug this in. Oh my gosh. Camera boy. when you see this it means we're done <laughs> kind of a cool experience actually just really cool to see the whole team appreciating their efforts and everything else Mitchell what's your favorite part the big urn the big top. urn the sunken patio the sunken patio 
Man, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Same as Udi. <laughs> Favorite part? It's right here. Right there, relaxing. Chris? I love the waterfalls that Udi and Micho build. I do too. Um, I love the deep stream. I love this coffee table lounge area <laughs> down here. Look at how the customers are standing and all the workers are taking over their space. <laughs> are you guys hungry? You want them to go make you something to eat? <laughs> Be like the pond guy. Hey, can you make yeah, me yeah, yeah. Why don't you order me some pizzas? It turned out, it turned out pretty incredible. Man. I really do love this little add-on back here. So what I'm talking about is this space right in here. Really cool Babbly Brook waterfall. Yeah, really, really cool. And so all we did is we teed off of the main line that comes up over here. Micho and Udi did this whole section by themselves. What's really neat is the sound you get out of it out of one, two, three, four, five, six rocks. Really cool. And then we come up the stairs here. Look at this. Really cool. Really neat, like organic pathway through here. Originally, we had talked about putting that bridge element we're gonna put in, like right here, and it just, with elevations and the proximity of the patio, it was really, it was a challenge. Yeah, it um, just didn't it work. It almost felt contrived or forced. So, through a little bit of creative problem solving and some good ideas by you, I'll show you where we're <laughs> Actually, this is what I would call the foyer, and it's more his well. It's foyer. Foyer. <laughs> We're just gonna throw an outdoor rug over this, and then there's gonna be a 12 by 14 foot pavilion going in here, yep. screened in porch, which will be great. And so you'll walk through here, come back around, and then what were you gonna show us, Chris? I was gonna show you the walkway to oh, the bridge. Oh, nice. To the bridge. Bridges, as you've said a lot over the years, they lead you to some place, right? This definitely leads you up to their front door, but there's also going to be just another sitting area, gathering spot. I think you just brought out beers for them. Oh! <laughs> so this is going to be a crushed granite patio in through here. So there's multiple seating places for people to gather all over what is actually a very small part of the property, but because of the water feature, the way it meanders, the interactivity of it, it makes it feel enormous. Enormous. Yeah, it's really really interactive. I could just see them kind of hopping around switching from space to space to space One day they want to be in fact. She does that already. That's true <laughs> and, and it's not even in the spaces we designed yeah. for her. She's on the rocks She literally walks around with a pad and put the pad down and sit and on sit different on rocks Which is I guess probably one of the best compliments we can get always a lot of fun to start doing the landscape Micho and Udi are gonna come back tomorrow and pop the rest of these plants in for them I love the stream my favorite part. I don't know what it's my favorite part. I think I like the layout of it, right? I just like everything you were just saying yep. and the way it all flows and interacts with the different living spaces. I really do like this wider deep stream. Yeah. Especially like when it narrows down. So, you know, we came in over here. Come up through here. You take that huge upper pool above it. Don't pay attention to the conduit. <laughs> And then this widens up into a larger upper pool up here. So it goes from about six inches of water, right at, I guess, where that waterfall is dumping into the pool down below. And down here, we've probably got 14, 16 inches of water at the base of this waterfall. And then we did the exact same thing in the next pooling area yeah. where we sloped it down really, really hard. Part, or largely in part, because of the size of the rocks. Some of these rocks are enormous. The waterfall slash frame rock that comes out of the bog is about a three and a half foot rock. And we actually dug that thing down because we dug that deep section at the bottom of it and it gives it a much bassier sound and a deeper sound so i really like this waterfall chris it's almost as if water has eroded away the earth exposing just solid bedrock yeah and then there's a tray of annuals on it. Yep. <laughs> you can see they were a little limp, so they need some water. I actually really like how the texture of this rock really matches the texture of the bridge. So it does look like water kind of carved out underneath bedrock and then exposed this stuff here. Yeah. Maybe I'm reaching a little, but. <laughs> yes, but it's still. We were, we were talking about like what our favorite features of this addition that we put on to what was already a pretty killer water feature. I'd have to say it's this large urn and the bog area up here. I love the power of three. It's a very, very strong design technique. And I thought you had a great idea in having this vertical element starting off this upper pool bog area. And it also carries through the rest of the design of the pond. So it's a seamless design, making it look as if everything was all created at once and it was all one vision at the same time. So 
both, it's an and because of what it's made out of, it's an incredibly easy piece to install and just looks spectacular. It provides visual interest, it provides aviary interest for birds, they love to sit up on that top lip, and it's awesome, you don't need that huge massive berm. Yeah. I think what's nice about them too is something like this, you can add to a lot of existing water features just to get a little bit more vertical height. And so yeah, it looks great up here. Nobody would know there's a giant bog filter underneath it. And then we've got this one here. We've got the spear down over here. Kind of looks like it's floating out in the pond there. And then a medium urn over here. Really cool project. This is definitely a show place already and it's only a couple hours old. So yeah. imagine when this place is a few years old, how thick and lush it's gonna be. It, it is gonna be pretty incredible. And he's got a lot of other fun things going on over there. Yeah. They're gonna put a big fire pit in over there. They're gonna try to clean up some of these cattails, expose a little bit more of the open water out that way. The great pathways coming in over here. A bigger berm where the skid steer sitting is gonna come in to make it look like when you're coming through the driveway, we cut a channel out of a big giant hill yep. to get the driveway in. It's gonna be cool. Hey Chris, if people like this stuff, what are they supposed to do? Like, first of all, please comment. Questions, good jokes, um, <laughs> only kind words because we're sensitive. Uh, but most importantly, subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the new content that Team Aquascape is coming out with twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Check us out.